into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Sean Reed Foley will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have got lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have gotten. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on it. And the next in is Johan Camargo. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. A toss behind the back. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Hold high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corner. Runners now with two gone in the inning. Nick Marquette. First pitch coming. Here it is. Mine to the right side. Richard is there and he puts it away to stop the bleed. In now, Jonathan Davis. He starts the inning and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down. Now batting, Freddie Freeman. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So there's a swing and a drive. And everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, and the lead is now 7-2. to two. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty B, you don't see this very often, d -Row, when it's cold and chilly like this wind blowing in a little bit now we're still seeing a lot of home runs yeah Dan I can't explain it let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play moving traffic against this cold weather not easy to do bullet back up the middle Davis has to roam straight back but he has it for the first out the left field number 20 Trying to pick things up where we left off. Marcelo Zuna. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. The last day. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as it's now a six-run ball game. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies, as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now batting. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. 
Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And there are... Jacob Wagyu's pack. A right-hander standing six foot six will take over pitching duties here. New innings set to get underway, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Charlie Culberson, fouled away. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, and particularly that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully now, wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. First pitch on its way. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Davis is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now back. Here's Ender Inciarte. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Jansen is after it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Chase Anderson is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. First offering on its way. Nick Markakis is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The first baseman, number five. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Yeah, Matt, and that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. First offering on its way. Scorched to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Anthony Kay, the lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ozuna swings and it's hit well to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Well, talk about having a day. 
Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. So up steps Ozzy Albies as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mound and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Tyler. So digging in now, Tyler Flowers. One for two with a double on the ledger. So strike one anyway. Softly hit ball here, foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's hit deep to left field, and for the second time in the inning, the gopher ball will come back to bite him. It's a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left as this is now a five run cushion. Standing in now Charlie Culberson. No balls in one strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Now that You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Drill down the line. But a foul ball here, 0-1. From the stretch. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Culberson leads off first with one away. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and that'll bring up Ender Inciarte. Here's a look over to first, and a dive, but he's back in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. Let's play ball. Three. Ball four. Take the base. a fun one to watch a great game for guys with the sticks but for pitchers not so much a classic slugfest and they walk away on top of the end 12 to 10 is the final score in this one the Blue Jays jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back Justin Miller is credited with the win so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show nation.com